Welcome to a new episode of Akio TV, and today it's all about cooling systems. Which cooling system is better, air cooling or water cooling? Let's compare them and see what their disadvantages and advantages are. So let's kick off with the good old air cooling system. Air cooling is very simple, you just put a heatsink on top of a CPU, then the heatsink absorbs the heat from the CPU and then transfers it to the surrounding air. The main advantage of air cooling is its extreme simplicity. Because it's so simple, it can be made really cheap and it's very unlikely to fail. Really, the only thing that can fail is a fan or something. Now, there is a disadvantage and that is that the size of the heatsink is limited because of the physical space near the CPU, so your cooling performance is also kind of limited. And the last thing that you probably don't care about but still worth mentioning, it's boring. I mean, most computers use this system, it's not very cool to have standard air cooling because obviously you want your cooling system to be cool. Now it's time for water cooling. With water cooling, the pump pumps cold water from the reservoir through a tube to the CPU block. When the water arrives there, it absorbs the heat from the processor, so the water heats up, and then it goes through another tube to the radiator. The radiator is basically a heat sink, but then to cool down water. So the water goes through the radiator, and the radiator transfers the heat that is in the water to the surrounding air, cooling down the water and warming up the air around the radiator and then the cold water goes back into the reservoir. Mostly there are also fans on the radiator to blow away the hot air. What you effectively do with water cooling is instead of transferring the heat of the CPU to the surrounding air directly using a heatsink, you first move the heat away from the CPU, you transport it away and then you transfer it to the surrounding air. The advantage being that the radiator can be a lot bigger than a heatsink because you can you can even put it outside of your PC, it, the sky is the limit, you can have a radiator as big as you want, and most radiators, even standard ones, are already bigger than normal air cooling heat sinks, so that means you get better cooling performance. That makes it great for CPU overclocking. And on top of that, it's very awesome. You can, I mean, isn't it just great to show off that your PC is water cooled, you know? But there are also some painful disadvantages. It's more likely to fail since it's more complicated, there are more components that can fail, and also, if it fails, it could leak. And leakage is not very good because water or other liquids can get into your system, damaging other components. Also, a nasty disadvantage of this type of cooling is that it's very expensive. Now that you've seen how the cooling systems work and what their advantages and disadvantages are, it's up to you to decide which one is the best for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.